Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you guys right here in this video. I can't promise you guys that they're going to be any good, but I can promise you guys that we're going to have some fun, so if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. First game of today's episode is called Seven Days in Purgatory. Okay. You are the person who decides if people go upstairs or downstairs. You make $10 per soul and you can apply at Purgatory Outpost number 7852. So let's apply. Day one. So we got the job, guys. Spoiler alert. What the hell's this? Good morning. I'm Death. You must be the new inspector. Yes, I am. So I got a long line of dead guys right out here, see? Where? I don't see him. Your job's easy. You get to decide how they spend the rest of eternity. If you look down with your mouse cursor for a second, you'll see a rule book. I recommend you read it. And you see those two buttons up there? Yeah. Press those babies to send people off to the good place or the bad place. Well, that's all. Hit that bell when you're ready for me to send people. Oh, and good luck, man. Okay, I didn't know that the Grim Reaper was a hipster. Good luck, man. Take it easy, bruh. All right. Dead folks coming your way. Thank you. I'm excited. I like games like this. Like a Papers, Please style. Oh, this fuck is definitely going to hell. What's the deal with that death guy? Um, what's the deal with you, Sophia Bell? Oh, you're a woman? Okay. Sophia Bell, you were born 1996? You're dead already? Trade law? What does that even mean? So you were honest and thanked the bus driver, but you bullied others. Okay, so uh, we're gonna say to the good place. Because they bullied others, but I mean, is that really that bad? I don't think it's that bad. People learn from their mistakes. This guy looks hella mad, though. Your name is George Reed. Well, that's not what I was expecting, but I don't know what I was expecting. Well, you died. You should have expected it. So you were diligent. Okay, so I'm assuming we send you to the good place. Sophia, I want to die. You're already dead. So the good is that she held doors open. She is an environmentalist and she's honest, but she's also cynical, bullied others, and egotistical. Nobody's doing anything bad, like murdered a family of billy goats or something. I want somebody to do something so messed up that I gotta send them to hell because I'm waiting for that. Oh, this guy looks like a schmuck. This guy looks like a schmuck. He held doors open, but he bullied others, and he's an alcoholic. Okay, if you're an alcoholic, you going downtown, baby! Yeah! That's what I wanted to see! Wait, what happened? Why am I looking at that? Huh? Where's the music? Did I do good? Uh-oh. Alright, we can go home now. Great work, my dude. I didn't know the Grim Reaper was like a stoner. He's a millennial. Day one, processed five. So we got 50 buckaroos, zero mistakes. You guys already know what I do. We made zero savings, but we have a balance of 50 and everything's fine. Guys, I'm going 100 for 100 in this bitch. Day two. Okay, so now every single day, it's gonna get harder and harder, duh, because we have seven days in purgatory. So let's do this, guys, we got this. Hey, nice to see you again. You did pretty good yesterday. You can do all that again, can't you? I heard about these cardinal virtues and cardinal sins or something. Could be important. Your rulebook's been updated. Give it a read and smash that bell when you're ready. Okay, let me check it out, guys, because we want to keep going 100%. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many good things that they do. If they have one cardinal sin, then I got to send them to the bad place regardless. And this is the list of, like, all the cardinal virtues and cardinal sins. Let's go. William Morgan, you were diligent, environmentalist, recycled, but you were greedy. Okay, greedy is one of the sins, so I'm sorry, my man. You're going to hell! That's fast. That's satisfying. I love it. I love it so much. I wish I could do this in real life. Well, it's not what I was expecting, but I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, you're saying the same recycled lines as the last guy. William Bailey, you fought for their country, you recycled, you murdered, and you were ignorant. If you murdered, well, you going downtown, baby. You going all the way downtown, baby. Okay, I'm taking this a little bit too seriously. I'm taking my job way too seriously right now. Why is everybody so mad like they got a thumb up their ass? Your name is Lucas Yamamoto. You don't look like a Yamamoto. Wait, please believe me, please? Okay, he wants us to believe something. I didn't read it. But he was honest. He cleaned up trash. He thanked the bus driver, but he murdered. But he said, please believe me. So what should I do, guys? Should I believe that face? 
Or should I send them to hell? Come on, you guys already know what I was gonna do. I love sending people to hell. I'll send everybody to hell if I could. All right, Max Stewart, you were honest, diligent, thank the bus driver, but you were rude and you were selfish. You were selfish? That's one of the sins. You know what that means? I'm gonna have to cook those balls in the eternity of hell. And that's it. And that was the last person for today. See you tomorrow, bro. <laughs> I can just imagine this guy, like, riding his scythe on some waves or something. See you tomorrow, brah. How goes it, brah? We're gonna get some people in line today with salvation. I think it's like a free pass to the good place or something. Your rulebook has more info. Salvation? Let me know when you're ready and we can start. Okay, salvation. Let me see salvation. This is starting to get a little bit tricky now. Salvation gives a soul free passage to the good place. A soul with salvation must present a valid letter of salvation. And a valid letter of salvation must have one of these three seals. Okay, now this is starting to get a little bit complicated. I like that. That turns me on. That makes my nipples nice and pink. Alright, All right, dead, dead folks, folks coming, coming your way. way. Okay, send them my way. I'm ready for them. I love this. Let's go. Give me the letter of salvation right now, egghead. Oh, he did. Well, it's not what I was expecting, but I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, this is your letter of salvation. You have the green stamp. It looks just like it is. But wait, it's a different color, though. How do I inspect that? It looks like a different color. Does that even matter? I don't know, man. I don't want to be a stickler for that. We're just going to let you through. Just keep it moving. If I got it... Oh, shit. I knew it. Oh, ho. I think the frickity frack not. What? They had an invalid letter of salvation. I'm so sorry, God. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know he had a mean right leg. Okay, so it definitely does matter what color it is. Got it, guys, got it. We made a mistake, but no more. Amelia Tanaka, you have that, but it's the wrong thing. Because this is a square, and hers is like a diamond. So you go going to hell! Bye-bye! <sighs> okay, this person doesn't have the letter of salvation, but they were honest. They voluntarily did community service, but they were rude, a drug addict, and an alcoholic. Um, I think that they were more good than bad, so we're gonna send them to the good place. Are they gonna get kicked? They are. I knew it. I kind of thought that when they were a drug addict and an alcoholic, they were going to go to hell. But I thought maybe you could squeeze them in. You know, maybe you could squeeze them into your butt cheeks. But no. That was the worst day that I've had so far. That was my worst day of work. That was stressful. I'm going to need to take some acid after this. Age is a factor now. A soul's birth year is written at the top of the report. All millennials must be sent to the bad place. People born between the years of 1985 and 2000 are considered millennials. I did not know that it was all the way to 1985. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start, start sending, sending some, some fellas, fellas in. in. Okay, send them in. Send them all in. Who we got over here? Oh, this looks like a millennial. Smells like one, too. What's the deal with that death guy? You were born 1988. Okay, so I guess you gotta go to hell. Bye, millennial. I mean, I'm a millennial, too, but... What about you? You were born 1958. Boy, you don't even look like it. You look younger than me. I couldn't bear spending eternity without her. Oh, he wants me to send him to hell. Well, you have more good than bad, and I want to get paid, so we are going to send you to heaven. I don't care if you want to be with somebody else. You'll find somebody new. Somebody way better than her. Millennial. I smell it. He was born 1990. Okay. Later, bro. Later, 1990. Okay, you had everything good, but you were born in 1993. All right, I'm going to cover my eyes when I do this. See you later. Noah Morris, you were born 1983. You thanked the bus driver. You adopted a homeless child. But you were an alcoholic, you were lazy, and you were a drug addict. Okay, you have way more pros than cons, so I don't care if you adopted a homeless child. The homeless what? You watch yourself, mister. What are you talking about? I didn't know the devil was a bitch with wings. I thought he had, like, arms and legs. Okay, so we sent the wrong guy to hell. So we had some teachers complaining to us, see? They weren't satisfied with our education criteria for good place entry. So yeah, we now have a minimum GPA for the good place, basically. I mean, this is eternal happiness, not a heckling college. Your rulebook has more info as always. Ring the bell when it's dead dude time. Dead dude. I'm that dude, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we gotta have like a GPA requirement. What is it gonna be? All souls require a valid report card for entrance to the good place. All grades must be a D minus or higher. Damn, I couldn't even get to heaven with those standards. Okay, okay I'm gonna start sending some fellas in. 
Gotta get them D's. Gotta get them double D's, you feel me? And yeah, my voice did crack. This dude got some double D's. Let me see. You were born 1995. So is the millennial thing still in effect? Oh, and it says that I gotta look out for forged report cards. Okay, so your name is Jacob Shellstrop, right? And then your ID number is 312192. So I guess I send you to the good place. Maybe the millennial thing doesn't matter for today. Okay, it does matter. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry for not listening to instructions. All right, here we go, guys. Sophia Rodriguez. It's the same there. 693185. You were born 1959. A-A-B-F. It says souls with one or more F grades must be sent to the bad place. You got an F, so you are capital F. Oh, my God. This guy got all the credentials. You got to be kidding me. So you got an F, though, so it doesn't even matter. That's all I had to look at. That was it? And that was the last person for today. That was like three people. What? Good morning, man. Day seven, you're doing a great job. About the report card situation, well, you don't necessarily need good grades to live a successful life, right? That's why we can now accept trade certificates as alternatives to report cards. As always, check up on your rule book and smash that bell when you're ready. Okay, let's check up on the rule book because we don't want to mess up on our last day. This is the seventh and final day, so we got to be good. Trade certificate. A soul may present a valid certificate of trade as an alternative to a report card. Ensure all information, including name and date of birth, is valid. Ensure the certificate has been signed by the appropriate trade master for the soul's trade. And these are the types of signatures. Oh, you got to be dicking me. You got to be dicking me in all the right places. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Uh, Sophia Dubois. Okay, I love that last name. Dubois. So that signature, Arts Master. Okay. Wait, it says there's no trade though. Shouldn't she have like Arts Master there in trade? Or am I just tripping? Let's just send her to heaven. It said none though. I think she's gonna get kicked. Yep. Okay, your trade is engineering and that's the same signature on that paper. And let me see your ID, 870982, Abigail Morris. And that's the correct symbol. So you are clear to go to heaven. Enjoy your stay. Alfie Boucher, you were born 1996 and your trade was engineering. But you have way more sins than virtues. So I think I'm supposed to send you to hell. I'm pretty sure I send this guy to hell. Yep, I did it right. He had everything correct, but I still had to send him to hell. Yo, you made it through a whole week. Excellent work. There was like three people. That wasn't so bad, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, so we processed a total of 30 people. We made five mistakes. Our accuracy was 83%. We made $250, and thanks so much for playing. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Second game of today's episode is called Forgiveness. Cassie was actually telling me about this game, and then I looked it up, and there was actually a demo, so we're going to try that out since it's free and part of Free Random Games. So let's do this. Oh, it's about time you woke up. You're probably wondering who I am and what you're doing here. Not really, but oh, now I am. First things first. I'm God. You're God? Yes, that's I right. just met God from the last game. Don't be too surprised. Before I became God, I was called Dr. Benjamin Speck. Really? Um, well, you might be confused, but let me explain. There are two types of humans in this world. One, the humans who do good. The humans who care about others and their environment. And two... The horrible, filthy, disgusting humans—the ones that put humanity to shame. How's this? So I can see my and penis. Me. <laughs> now, not too long ago, I was a shitty man, doing all the kinds of shitty things you could. Hey, imagine. I didn't know God cussed. But after you ain't the real God. You an imposter. An opportunity to be forgiven for everything I've done. And I'm pretty sure God oh, doesn't have security God, cameras because God, God can see everything. All the now. What does God want with a filthy man like you? Any guesses? Hmm? Well, let's just say that I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. What? You know exactly what you've done and why you're here. Bro! But pretending to you be don't know what I've done? Won't work with God. Those who shit on God and God's rules, they don't deserve to live. Okay, this man is crazy. Cassie, what kind of games have you been playing? You truly are just a fool. Well, I won't be surprised if you are. You are here because you are considered a sinner. Now, you might be wondering why I haven't killed you. Yes. It's simply because I had the opportunity to be forgiven, and now you have the same opportunity. Bro, what is this man talking about? All you have to do is prove to me that your life is worth living. 
You have 30 minutes Code. to solve my task. Now, if you succeed, <clears throat> you will prove to me that you are not actually dumb. Nine. And you will learn from the past to not repeat your mistakes ever again. But if you fail, you'll be sent to purgatory with the other sinners. <laughs> For eternity. Oh, your test is right behind that door. The code is... Oh, actually, how about you figure it out yourself? See, this is a practice round before your real test. Okay, yeah. I gotta figure out the code for the door. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me pick this up. Is there any way where I could use this? Hold on, let me see. Dude, this is the smallest magnifying glass. How the fuck am I gonna see anything with this? Uh, can't drop when too close to an object? Bitch! You do whatever I tell you to do and you're gonna like it, all right? Knife, fool. Okay, um, usable knife. Oh, nice. Okay, I was just guessing. But that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, now we got this big-ass mallet that's already bloody. Wait, what about this? Can we smash that? Yo, smash that. Smash that. Wait, 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 wait. Give me that. Smashy. How do I... Okay, we're gonna pick you up. I can't pick you up because I need to drop this. Drop it. Okay, we're gonna pick you up. Put you right here. Smash that. How do I smash this with a bloody hammer? I have this piece of paper right here. And then I can enter it. Oh, okay. So I had to pick up the paper and then I enter it on the keypad. I can't just actually manually do that myself. So that's interesting. We got to find a few more digits. Find the symbols to discover the code. All right. I like that. I like where this is going. I don't like that the lights keep flickering though. That is not right. Circle minus diamond plus triangle equals square. Okay, so circle was nine, right? From the piece of paper. So nine minus whatever these two equals square. Oh, there was something under the pillow the whole time. Dude, what do I use this bloody hammer for? I feel like this is not working. But I think it's just me. Maybe I'm just being a big old dumbass. Or, is there something under here? No. I, I don't know what to do. I think I've clicked on everything in this game, but I don't know where to put anything. Like, I don't know if I need to smash something. I don't know if something needs to smash me. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? It was there the whole time? The whole time? Okay, you know what? The code is triangle, diamond, circle, square. Okay, so triangle, diamond, circle, square. So what is it again? Nine minus four, which is five plus two, seven equals square. Okay, so the code is two, four, nine, seven. Two, four, nine, seven. Yes! Oh God. Oh shit. Escaped in 19 minutes, 16 seconds. Damn, you gotta expose me like that? I know it took me a hell of a long time, but I was going through the room. I didn't know what I was doing. Last game of today's episode is called The Midnight Shift with Lenny Mods. My boy John Wolf played this game and I saw the thumbnail and I was like, wait, you play in a video rental store after hours? That game is right up my alley, but check out John. I'll put his channel in the description box below, but we are about to play this and we are going to see how freaky it gets at a video rental store after hours. Okay, it doesn't get that freaky. It looks pretty boring. It actually looks pretty tame, pretty mundane. Do I just do things? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this is freaky. I love that voice though. Let's see if they that turns me on. Oh my god. Pussy. Okay, okay. I'll obey. Holy crap. We'll get the ball rolling with something easy. Something you've been able to do all night without having to think much about it. Dude, you're just gonna jump me right Let's in like see this? How our new contestant handles this is freaky. Following directions. What do you want this me to do? Challenge is simple. Don't open the door. Oh, don't open the door. You heard me right. All you have to do is continue doing nothing. What? What the hell is that? Let me out of here! Hey! Hey! Let me out! What should I do, guys? No! No! He's still begging for his life! Get away from me! Let me out! I can 
Ugh. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to live. Excellent work. Whoa. See how well you can keep that Take a breather. These sounds are so ridiculously loud. But don't go too far just yet. We still have a lot of game to get through. I swear to God, I'm about to pull my pants right now. Don't turn off the light suddenly again. I'll kill you. I swear to Buddha, I will. Okay. Uh, hi, Sophia. Just as a reminder, there are tasks for closing up the store. Stock and tidy up, cash out and receipts, lock break room, all lights out after close. You'll do great. Call if you need anything. Amy. An easy challenge just for you. Whatever you do, keep your eyes on the screen. What screen? What are you talking about? Keep your eyes on the screen. What are you talking about? Oh, this screen right here? My bad. All right, let's do it again. What? You guys heard that? What the hell was that? Oh, shit. I heard somebody like low key moan. They were like, oh. Oh, hey, puppy. Hi, Superman is not here. Bro, I'm not trying to get jump scared right now. My dear contestant, now for your next challenge. Okay. We here in the audience I thought are I very failed, though. concerned about the state of the break room. Head on back to the break room and make sure that everything is in place, won't you? Sure. Let's Ooh. see if our contestant can salvage the situation. Don't get oh, my God. Bit. We'll be right back oh. after a quick commercial break. Who the hell is that? This dude is so big and buff and strong. My bowl's bigger, though, low-key. I'm sorry, my guy. Low-key, it is. What do you want me to do? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay. Do I pick this up? Who? I don't want to look away from this guy. What do I do? Oh, fuck. Bro, I'm... Oh, fuck! What? What are you doing? Why did he move? Oh. I saw him moving. Oh, knifeu, knifeu, knifeu. <laughs> really, bro? Really doing the splits on a dick? Come on, man. Get out of here. We out of here, man. That was lame. What do you want me to do, man? You know I'm a warrior. You know I knife these dolls, whatever the hell that is. Can I get out of here? I don't fuck with this no more. I should have knifed that thing. <laughs> he died like a little hoe, too. He was like, Ugh, I Jay. Just over there is a set of films that need to be restocked. Now show our audience what a good employee you are and get those movies back in place. Sure. Mind that you don't disturb Dis others in the store. Disturb others in the store? Be dead. What are you talking about? Okay, uh, where do I put this back? Who am I disturbing? Where do I put this? Does anybody know? Right here? Okay, hold up. Does it tell me where I put this? I'm confused. Where am I putting this at? Who are the others in the store? Show yourself. Show thyself. I'm actually really confused right now. Because I don't know where the hell you want me to go. Um... Oh, shit. Instructions were so straightforward. Wait, where did you come from? I don't know where to put the movies. I haven't seen a VHS in like a million years. Are you guys gonna eat me? Just eat my asshole a first, please. It's pleasurable. What awaits our brave challenger in our final task? Viewers, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah. Something that we haven't seen on this show since the very first day that I started hosting it. The final challenge. Cool, Let's I love get final some challenges. Of our favorite contestants from previous seasons out here and ready to play. Can our contestant outrun some returning favorites? It's time to find out. What are you talking about, outrun? I'd start running if I were you, contestant, and make sure to watch out behind you. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Oh fuck! Oh fuck me! Oh shit! Oh fuck my ass, dude! Why are there so many people here? Who? Oh, where do I go? Oh my good god! Please, 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 please! Where do I run? I don't know where to go. Why are there so many of you? Please! I didn't do anything. Yo, I'm just trying to work at a video rental store, man. What are you doing taking my job? Ooh, my heart's beating so fast. I don't know why. This is like that one thing from Dark Deception. When they only move when you're not looking. 
Okay. Oh, dude, that guy's moving. That guy's moving. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. Hey. It's not often that we have a true undisputable victim. This game is cool. My hands are so sweaty, though. I know that you all know what this means. And believe me, I am as sad as you are to have to go. But your new host will be just as pleasant, just as show-stopping, and if their actions tonight are any indication, so much more interesting than I have been for you these past several years. Several years? It's been like two minutes. for me to take my place amongst the many other retired hosts of the Midnight Shift of Lenny Mott. But first, allow me to introduce you to Lenny Mott, the immortal master of ceremonies. Lenny, come on down and greet your audience. Uh-oh. What? Oh. Lenny? Lenny, baby? Where you at? Do I gotta go to the break room? I think I do. Lenny? Don't tell me that's Lenny. Don't tell me this floating bitch ass head is Lenny. Oh wait, I'm Lenny? I thought my name was Sophia. Okay. Um. Sure. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. If you guys want to see more episodes of this series, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.